first films that I put up on YouTube were in 2006. In September 2006 I came here to this place which is the German military cemetery in Wawka. It's the very first cemetery I filmed. I filmed quite a lot since then in various countries and what's nice about this is that often the people write to me and thank me because I went past one of their relatives graves. So I filmed quite a lot in various countries not only here in Poland but also Belgium, Netherlands, Italy, Germany and so what I would like to do here is this is uh, the collection point of people, uh, German soldiers who were killed in two world wars. So we have the forested bit over there where that's from the first world war. This bit here is from the second world war. There's over 12,000 people who are buried here. We have, it's done in alphabetical order which makes it a little bit more uh, difficult to explain uh, what ha happened because when I've got it in date order I can show when the most casualties occurred and as a general rule the halfway point for the uh, German army as far as, far as deaths are concerned is September 1943 and so 1944 and 1945 were the worst years of the war as far as the German army was concerned not only because it was getting beaten but uh, as far as deaths were concerned so what we've got here we've got uh, lists of people and then down here we've got the numbers and as the gentleman in charge was explaining to me, every 50 centimetres uh, there's a grave. So as you know it is in uh, row uh, 7 and 2.5 metres, let's say, somewhere around here, then it, that could be the person you're looking for there. You, you'd actually get from the lists uh, which are up there. Now I'll show you one of these here. In fact, I'm going to show one, one particular person because I came across him whilst doing uh, 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 research and uh, he'll be here yeah and uh, this gentleman here Paul Grote so I, I, I think it's the same person because it's the same date of birth same name 27th of March 1898 he was killed on 31st of October 1939 uh, because I came across someone else with the same date of birth the same name and uh, I was looking for another Paul Grote who, was not the, who wasn't born on that date and uh, so you can see, I'll take him as an example. Uh, so he was 41 years old and he was killed, 31st of October 1939. I'm presuming he died as a result of wounds sustained uh, during the Polish campaign. So he would have had gone through the First World War probably a couple of years uh, during the First World War. And then he had the Second World War as well, which uh, killed him. Although he didn't have much to go through. Uh, someone else, Wilhelm Groth who uh, was born the 14th of July 1917, I'm presuming no relative, and uh, he died, uh, there you go, 16th of September 1939. So uh, again, once more during the Polish campaign. Uh, uh, some of these people, though, they died, uh, I'll use this one, Paul Grossman, I have no idea who he was, but 26th of June 1899, 7th of December 1945. So the war was over, he went through the entire war, he went through part of the First World War, and uh, he dies as a result of wounds sustained sometime during the Second World War. He could have been, I'm, I'm going, I, I don't know, I'm just surmising here based on experience. I, I presume that he was taken prisoner somewhere in, um, in maybe in what is today Poland. Well, I presume, or maybe maybe in Germany, because the German border is ju was just to the north of here. And uh, it ended at POW camp, and finally it was as a result uh, of, uh, maybe it was lack of uh, treatment, maybe he did get treatment, uh, but his wounds and that, that was what killed him in the end. Now, uh, here uh, is the uh, just inside Germany on the borders of 1914. The Russian border 
was only a couple of hundred meters further to the south from here and uh, the border after the first world war went north so this area here was then part of poland so it was the area of jaudovo soldau and it, um, this area here was then occupied on the 2nd of september 1939 and it was uh, taken in the winter of 1945 by the uh, red army So this graveyard, or cemetery I should use, say really, uh, sounds a better word to me, uh, was opened in um, 1996, I think it was. There you are, so German soldiers of the 1914-1918 uh, war. Now you may have noticed that I, I published a couple of videos also recently uh, about uh, I went to a, a, a German military cemetery near uh, Radom and fortunately it was closed but I actually sort of stuck my camera through and uh, as I was in my motorhome I then published uh, the video and my comments on it. So, uh, this far here, alphabetical order, and they've got more people being added to it. So, from Heinz Abraham, only 23 years old when he died on, in, on 8th of October 1944. And here are stones waiting for more people. Many times the people just they, they completely disappeared, never, never found. Let's have a look at some of the additional dates, because here we've got here Albert Zippel. So he was killed in the Polish campaign the 10th of September 1939. So he's 32 years old in a war uh, which is, had absolutely nothing to do with him. In fact, m most of these people... Yeah, so that was quite odd that the, the those the which are added. I can understand them finding from the later part of the war, but for example here, Erwin Bredenitz, on the 9th of September 1939, that really is quite odd. Unfortunately, there's a lot of um, insects flying around at the moment. So this quick, this may be a very quick visit, but I do want to point this tree out before I finish. It's quite an unusual tree. So you see the tree there, it divides, comes back together again, then grows separately into two different trees. And I've got two like that here. Oh, there's another one there, but that one's not so good. This one is the vest. Right, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm going out the forest because it's full of insects. Right, thanks very much for watching. I hope you find that of interest. Um, a lot more, lots of videos related to military history on my site, YouTube site, History on YouTube, which you might want to have a look at. And if not, well, never mind. <laughs> uh, I uh, do various things as well related to uh, to Poland and uh, Polish history. Uh, so you can see there, I'm on my bicycle. I'll be taking that to go out of here. I'm staying at a place called Iwowo Osada. And I've prepared a number of videos from Iwowo Osada, which I find, hope you might want to have a look at. Thanks for watching.